Welcome to this KDE Tips and Tricks screencast. And in this screencast, I want to show you how you can add shelves to your panels. What is a shelf? A shelf is basically something like a menu, but not like the normal kickoff menu that you get here. But it can be simulated to be like a normal application launching menu. But to show you this, I will start with adding a shelf to the panel first. So we click on this little icon here on the top, on, on the bottom uh, right. Click on Add Widgets. Search for Shelf. There we have it. And then we'll just place it somewhere in our panel, just like here, for example. We'll hit the Configure button. And it will allow us to at locations so we can add different locations if you click here you can see that there are different uh, options in here such as applications favorites places folder removable fixed devices uh, system something I cannot read it it's a little bit small let me put it in here ah now it's bigger you can see uh, system tools, new documents, open documents, recent documents, online contacts and unread messages. So a lot of things that you can do and set here. So I will set applications category here, which allows me to choose a category just like for example multimedia, because I'm working with multimedia a lot. Click OK and it automatically set applications uh, dash slash uh, a colon slash multimedia slash. If I hit apply, you can see it will get automatically the multimedia icon. Certainly no text in here, but uh, if you click on this, it will show and list all all of the multimedia applications that I've installed. Just look for example, Amarok, Audacity, Deadbeef, Desktop Recorder, Dragon Player, Easy Tag, and Code Esperanza, Gnome Man Player, and some others, as you can see here. So I can scroll in here if I want to. I can make it a little bit bigger so I don't have to scroll a lot. Uh, you can see the scroll bar also here and yeah pretty nice pretty cool pretty handy feature the cool thing is that you can combine various different things so um, yeah, let me remove this multimedia category and add for example uh, what's cool what's new what's recent documents for example don't know if I have opened something Ah, no. <laughs> so let me add um, favorite applications. Hit apply. You can see I have now favorite applications. And I have also recent documents. If I click on. Let me open up just one document. For example, the encode history log here. Uh, you can see what I've encoded last time. Close it. I now should have it in my history log. If I click on my favorite applications. It should be the recent recent open documents. It isn't. So wow, well, let's remove it. Try it with something else. Just like for example, oh, I want the places menu also in here. Hit apply, and now you can see I have my favorite applications, and underneath it I have my places. So like home, network, root, trash, Bluetooth, project folder. Um, I can add as many as I want to. If I want to re re add removable devices, I can add them also. And if I had some removable devices, they will show up in here. Let's just add, for example, fixed devices like hard drives, and uh, SSDs, or something like this. You can see now underneath my um, places and uh, my favorite applications, I have fixed devices. This on, does not only work in the uh, panel as a panel um, plugin, this also works as a um, desktop widget. So you can add this widget, the shelf widget to the desktop. You can configure it here also, as you can see, and I will set it to. Uh, I will set it to uh, what graphics applications, for example. Graphics. Uh, ah, I had to hit apply. So um, you also have the option to add a search box in here, which is nice. So if I hit apply here, and I know that I want to search for GIMP. So if I have a search box in here, I can 
click on the switch book and type in GIMP and you can see it works just like uh, the K runner menu. You can either start run GIMP as the command run GIMP from the desktop. Uh, there are obviously two desktop um, symbols or entries to run the game in this case. We can also search for VLC for example, it will also um, find VLC in here. So this is a uh, basic search command for everything and if you click on this you can see that it will highlight uh, my re return back to the uh, graphics applications. Pretty nice, pretty handy. So let's go to the first let me close this to the advanced tab. You can see that there are quite some um, options that I can set just like use no click interface uh, so you can see this little arrow here if I go hold it a little bit longer you can see it will open up something so I don't have to click specifically if I don't want to I can set the extended position in this case it is set to the right so this is this little arrow here and uh, I can set it to the left yeah I have it on the left and the, uh, my, my scroll bar on the right uh, I can add short keyboard shortcuts just like uh, you know in every uh, widget on KDE and I have uh, an option to share this uh, widget specifically uh, through the network to other uh, clients. Pretty nice, pretty handy feature and I like, uh, really like the shelf the shelf and uh, especially the fixed devices and removable devices are pretty nice, pretty handy if you want to uh, quickly navigate to your hard drive to your petitions and so on. Uh, but it's also cool to create an own menu with your favorite applications, for example, an own menu for specific applications, like for example, system tools. Uh, let me move this graphics in here. And you can see I have all my system tools right in here. Pretty nice, pretty handy feature. And I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.